going on guys? Just doing a little update video on the GTR. Uh, as you can see, now it's back off the road once again for about the 18th time. Just because now I've blown a seal on the turbo. As you can see, I've taken it out. The other one's not looking awesome either, but I don't know, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. So, basically, to give you some history on the car, I picked it up about four years ago. Um, and it had been neglected really badly. So, I thought, well, it's cheap and the value of them isn't going to go down, I guess. So, might as well buy it and sit it in the garage as a project. And uh, little did I know how bad the luck that was to follow was going to be. First of all, it had a blown head gasket. Um, took it apart to replace the head gasket. Replaced that. Uh, and then me not having a huge amount of experience fixing cars, I uh, accidentally set the timing slightly wrong and bent one of the valves which broke a valve guide which fell into the cylinder and started making a tapping sound. So that was another issue, so we pulled it apart again suspecting that it was a spun bearing when it was actually just a piece of valve guide that had broken off and fell inside the cylinder. So we decided to pull the motor out, assuming it was going to need a rebuild. I was always hesitant to believe the previous owner's statement about the engine being built with forged rods, pistons, you know, had a full rebuild, balance crank, everything, R33 GTR block. Um, but we ended up finding out by pulling the sump off. What the previous owner said was true, just it was hard to believe someone who doesn't have receipts for any of the work that had been done. You'd think you'd keep all the receipts for sort of $15,000 worth of work, but hey, that's just me. So yeah, we pulled the motor out, which turned out to be a massive waste of time because all it was was a valve guide that had broken, um, which means we could have just taken the head off and uh, <laughs> replaced the, the valve guide or the valves or whatever. So the next spate of bad luck that I had was um, putting all the engine bits and pieces back together, dropping the engine back in the car, and then the cam pulley fell off. So you can see there's one bolt missing. Um, that was because I was driving along the freeway coming up onto an entry ramp onto another freeway and that just completely fell off which bent all the valves and that cam pulley jammed inside the timing cover which caused a bit of drama, chewed up the timing belt really badly um, and as you could see in the previous video, I got rear-ended as well because there was people coming around the corner at 80 to 100 kilometers an hour um, and they couldn't stop in time so someone just skidded straight into the back of me. So then the car went into the panel shop for three months or so, um, got it back and thankfully they did an awesome job. I'll show you guys what they did, it's a bit dirty though. The back of the car looks great now. They did an awesome job. I mean, it's a bit dirty, so you can't really see. And when I got the car back from the panel beaters, I thought, all right, since we've only been running a basic tune, I think it was just like almost like a run-in tune, pretty much just to stay safe. It was just rich all over, all over the rev range, apparently. So yeah, once I picked up the car from the tuners, uh, it made, 265 kilowatts, which is I think roughly around 350, maybe a little bit less horsepower. It's running uh, R34 GTR turbos, um, stock fuel system, just set of cams. It's been built. Um, I think just to run a lot more power, I'm going to need a larger fuel system, which I really don't have the money for considering. Now that I've blown the turbo, I'll just replace that first and try and enjoy the car for more than a few days at a time. Hopefully, once this is done, it's the last thing that I have to worry about for a while, but knowing this car, it'll probably only be about a couple of months before it's back off the road again. But hey, that's GTR life. It's such an amazing car, I just have to put up with the bullshit, unfortunately. I thought, 
we've got to try something to return some some luck or end this curse so I bought a, a rabbit's foot to hang around the rear view mirror <laughs> I don't think it's really been working so far considering I only got three days use out of this before the turbo blew but hopefully get the turbo rebuilt and uh, get some videos some content coming out again this thing just doesn't seem to want me to uh, enjoy it oh well I guess it's just old car syndrome Anyway, anyway guys, hopefully in the future we'll have some content to put out for you with Andrew's 33 and my 32 GTR. Later dudes.